Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1969 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup features the Seattle Pilots versus the Minnesota Twins at Metropolitan Stadium. On the mound for the Pilots today is Marty Patton, whose record is 6-6 six six with a 4-13 ERA. And pitching for the Twins is Dave Boswell whose record is 11-3 with a 2.68 ERA. Well, we kicked off the month of July with a loss. Uh, we were down 4 nothing, and we scored three runs in the final two innings, uh, falling short of a comeback. And uh, I wish I could say something more exciting about that ball game, but nothing really happened. Um, and we were lucky to score the three runs. So we advanced to uh, game two of the three-game series. Um, and as you can see here, we do have the All-Star Game coming up uh, very shortly. And another reminder that uh, at the end of the month is the uh, trade deadline. And I think that during this three-game break for the All-Star Game, uh, I will trade Tommy Harper, uh, most likely to Kansas City for Lou Pinilla, but I don't know for sure. We're going to, when the time comes, we're going to uh, take a look at some of the teams that are out of contention and see if we can't find a, a better suitor uh, than a team in our own division, right? So let's go ahead and get started with today's game. As always, I appreciate everyone following along. Like and or subscribe to the channel, please. Uh, we have Marty Patton on the mound as it's taking its sweet ass time moving along here. Uh, you can see that um, the current lineup for the Twins is betting 224 against Patton. So he's had some success. All of the bullpen is available. Our lineup, not too great. Uh, Boswell absolutely cleaned our clock last time. We're going to double check that when we look at his log. But uh, Rollins is tired, so we're going to put Don Kessinger at third base. So we have the... Um, Seven and eight combo. I mean, throw in the pitcher, too, of Patek, Kessinger, and the pitcher. That doesn't get any worse than that. And we have Gary Sutherland, who I want to give a day off, but we can't because we need um, to use all of our infielders right now to, for breaks, uh, for, you know, for a little bit of rest. And so Sutherland's going to have to continue to hit, take at-bats while in the midst of a huge slump. Okay, let's go ahead and do the official lineup rundown for the Seattle Pilots. Batting leadoff at second base is Gary Sutherland. Batting second in left field is Mike Hegan. Batting third at right field is Tommy Harper. Batting cleanup playing first base is Joe Pepitone. Batting fifth in center field is Tommy Agee. Batting sixth and catching is Jerry McNerty. Batting 7th at shortstop is Freddie Patek. Batting 8th at 3rd base is Don Kessinger. And the pitcher, Patton, batting ninth. Okay, let's take a look at Don ba Bos uh, Dave Boswell. He just pitched against us uh, his last start. Oh, he actually took the loss. Look at that. He had a 7-game winning streak, and we snapped it. He did throw a complete game shutout versus... Uh, us on the 2nd of June, so maybe that's what I was thinking of, where he went 9 innings, striking out 10. Uh, then we got him back there, 7 and 2 thirds, uh, giving up 5 runs on 9 hits. 5 walks as well, uh, throwing 120 pitches, so maybe we worked him until uh, he got tired. Overall, he's making his 20th start, 11 and 3, with a 268 ERA. 111 strikeouts in 144 and a third innings pitched. Opponents are betting 213 against them. Four complete games and the one shutout against us. Best pitch is a slow curve. Fastball also rated in 86. So two great pitches and a changeup just below average at 79. Overall rated at 90, the 24-year-old ready is arbitration eligible at the end of the year. There's the defense for... Uh, the Twins, looks like they have the regular guys back in there since we have a right-hander on the mound. So pretty solid defensively everywhere. That looks, uh, that's how I'd like our, 
our defense to look. All right, Gary Sutherland, huge slump right now. I think he's one for 15. Hot shot to short for out number one. Next up is Mike Hegan. Hegan betting 241, six home runs. He strikes out. And Harper in the third spot today strikes out looking. So that couldn't have went any worse as uh, we go down one, two, three, two Ks there for Boswell. Let's take a look at the Twins lineup rundown for today's ballgame. Betting leadoff is the rookie Mike Adams in left field. Batting second at first base is Rod Carew. Batting third in right field is Tony Oliva. Batting cleanup playing third base is Greg Nettles. Batting fifth at shortstop is Rick Rennick. Batting sub sixth and catching is John Roseboro. Batting seventh in center field is Ted Ulander. Batting eighth at second base is Frank Quilici. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Dave Boswell. Okay, Marty Patton doing all right. He's making a 17th start, 6-6 six six with a 4.13 ERA. I think that's about all we can ask from our guy with a 79 rating. Um, he has continued to walk batters. You can see he's walked two per game other than the one uh, no decision versus the White Sox. He did get the win his last time out uh, versus the Twins, going six, giving up one run on four hits and striking out a season high eight batters. So good job by him. Also, he's faced him two other times, getting the win and getting the win. He has never lost. Against the Twins, three and zero this year. So we see we can't keep that rolling. That is some. That's some good news, right? Okay, there's our defense for today. Kessinger at third, not bad defensively. Uh, you no, know, in comparison, actually better than um, Rollins. Rollins is at eighty-six. Not that it matters, but um, and then catcher, second base, right field. You know the usual. Okay, Mike Adams leading off versus Marty Patton. 0 for 8 and a base hit. Leadoff man is on. Oh, and an error by A.G. That is his third freaking error in three games in the outfield. Come on, man. Uh, unbelievable. And there's the base hit to give him the lead. This game is over. That's it. I mean, that's the ball game right there. There's the first out. I mean, that doesn't happen unless, you know, that, that you know, that's what they need to win. So we're just playing it out here already. As Rennick pops up to second. And Roseboro. Get some good wood on it. Fly out to right. So 2-0. Top of the second, and we're pushing buttons. Pepitone walks. AG flies out. McNurtney walks. And then we have the bottom third of our lineup, which is just atrocious. Patek does get a ground ball past the third baseman. Scoring a run, Pepitone scores. Two to one. Good job by Patek. Talk about a guy that needed a hit. Kessinger, deep fly ball to left center field. There's no point in tagging and getting thrown out. We'll just let the pitcher get the third out. Bottom of the second inning, two to one, we're down. Oh, off the end of the bat. Still flies out to center field. There's one out. Quilici. Ground ball up the middle for a base hit. Boswell. Swinging. Not even laying down a bunt. I don't think that... I mean, how many times have we seen that happen lately? Like, why isn't the pitcher... Oh, okay, there's our hit by pitch. So we're going to get the whole gamut today. 
We've already had the error and a hit by pitch. And a pop-up from Rod Carew. I hate how obvious this game is. It just makes it no fun. Sutherland does get a hit, though. Second hit for us today. Here's Mike Keegan. We don't have our hit and run guy in. There's a wild pitch. Okay. So we got to add that. Wild pitch, hit batter. It wouldn't be a baseball mogul game unless we had every baseball scenario play out. There's a base hit up the middle. Sutherland will tie it at two. Tommy Harper, nobody out. Runner on first. Strikeout. Pepitone. A strikeout on the pitch that wasn't even close. And another strikeout. So he strikes out the side. So we've had <laughs> an error, a wild pitch, a um, uh, hit by pitch, and then a strike out the side. It's like the, the game <laughs> has listed like all the things that could happen in a baseball game out of the ordinary. And then it just starts checking them off somehow in a random order. Tony Oliva popping it up. Oh, and an error. Unbelievable. I haven't drinking alcohol today. I'm going to need it. I got some wine. I got some Chablis. You might call it Chablis. We're fancy over here at baseball. Pretty at baseball. God, I hate this game and how horrible it is. Yay. That is in foul territory, but it'll be an error. Nope. Looked like it would be. Here's a uh, land. So two outs. This is when they get the rally going. Yep. Three run home run. Does it ever fail? That's exactly the way it plays out. All are unearned. So it doesn't affect the pitcher's ERA, but it does get the required runs that they need to win the ball game. A toddler wrote the code for this. All right. That's four strikeouts in a row for Boswell. All right, going to the bottom of the fourth inning. Some uh, random, um, subs not even a subscriber, someone who just happened to catch our videos. Yeah, here comes the two-out rally. Commented, like, I should start playing um, MLB The Show. That offers me no fun. Like, I, like, I don't want to play an arcade version of baseball. I want some type of realistic statistical game that isn't, like, embarrassing to, um, you know, put out there for people to watch. I mean, um, you know, like, all MLB The Show is is just a home run derby every time you play it. That's that's no fun for me. Yep, here's our attempt at a um, two-out rally. There's a base hit. Hegan will score. Nope, there's no point in sending the runner to third. It's an automatic out. There's another hit. We are getting some runs here against uh, Boswell, much like we did last time. I will tell you, though, I will tell you this. This is something that has always been true for me uh, in playing this ball game. I feel like if you push the button on this side, you have more of a chance of succeeding. <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't know why I've never confessed that before, but I feel like that's true. Um, I don't. I have. I don't always. I'm not always conscious of it. I guess, but <laughs> but I do. I do sort of believe that um, you're more likely to get uh, the guy out if you push on that side. Why are there so many damn balls getting through the infield? Up the middle, through the hole? I, I don't... It doesn't make any damn sense. Newlander's got the home run earlier. Yeah, let's just keep pushing the button. It doesn't matter. We're going to the top of the sixth. Podtech, at least he got a hit. And I know, like, maybe in my mind I should be thinking, well, we're only a run down, but we're a run down for a reason. Like, there's there's a reason why we are, do not have the lead. Um, all right, so we're going to pinch hit here. We'll bring in uh, Darren Johnson, who's either a double play, a strikeout, or a home run waiting to happen here. Yeah, it's going to be a double play. Oh, nope, ground ball. They had the infield pulled in. They don't recognize that I pinch hit. They can't call the play off. At least Boswell's tired. He's already thrown more pitches than he did in his last start. Um, all right, we've got a couple lefties coming up. So we'll go with the lefty. We're going to bring in Ron Locke, who's given up runs in four of the last five appearances. And an extra base hit as they pinch hit, too. Nope, just a single. And a strikeout. And a walk. And a base hit up the middle. Another run scores. Greg Nettles. Ground ball to second. <laughs> they go home. Makes no sense. That would never happen. They would try to get two. Two down. Line drive to center. Unbelievable. Here's Tom Hall. He's a lefty. Seventh inning. Just pushing buttons. Pushing buttons. You know what? Let's try to steal. Why not? <clears throat> yep, that's why. Yep. There's no way the game's going to let us win here. We are in the second half of the season. I mean, that's the good thing, is we are on the home stretch here. And um, there's always the Detroit Tigers season coming up. I sure as hell hope that all these horrible things that are wrong with this game somehow get fixed in the 2023 version. Going to the bottom of the eighth inning. Another pinch hitter. Finally, we stop a ground ball at the middle. First time all day. Yeah. I mean, if all I have to do is push a button and a, a relief pitcher throws three scoreless innings, there's something wrong with your game. Kessinger grounding out. We're going to bring in... Um, we'll bring in Don Bosch. Couldn't hit the broadside of a barn right now. And Sutherland in the ballgame. So we lose 5-4. to four. This game was over in the first inning. Let's take a look at the standings. 
Four and a half back. Headline news. Wait, what? Oh, wow. Dick Allen hit four home runs to give him 15. Wow, that's incredible. That's exactly the kind of stupid shit that happens. All right. Transactions. There's the milestone. Four home runs in one game. Uh, that's it. Pull up the box score and get out of here. All right. What a bunch of crap. Total wasted time. Um, player of the game, who would that be? Does anybody deserve it? We did score four runs. Um, God, Tommy Ag, because of his error, the three-run home run happened. I mean, that would have been good enough for us to get the win. But um, all right, I guess I have no idea. Um, nobody gets it. Oh, we're gonna give it to Ron Locke. Three innings in relief. Uh, he gave up three bat, uh, you know, th uh, yeah, three batters reach base, two hits on a walk. So, I mean, that's a whip of one. That's not horrific. And he does get his um, ERA back under three. So, he gave up all those runs, and then he finally uh, pulled it together. Good performance from him. But we already had given up the runs to lose. So he would never have given up any runs. Um, whatever. The final score being five to four, we were never going to score five runs. So that's you know that's the way the game is designed. Unfortunately, um, Twins uh, Dave Boswell gets his twelfth win, and Al Worthington uh, gets his thirteenth save. Oh, and Ted Ulander, that was his first fucking home run of the year. In one hundred and eighty-five at bats, he hits the three-run home run to win the ball game. What a shitty game this is. All right, that's going to do it. We'll come back tomorrow for game three of the three-game series. Until then, everyone, have a good day.